So I'm here. I was supposed to check in at JAL, JL, my flight back to Osaka today. I went to the JAL people. I told them my situation, and they said you have to have a PCR result test. And if you don't have that, then they cannot check me in. So then I said, is there any like rapid, you know, PCR test place? And they said there's one down all the way down at the end down here. It's run by the Kidney Foundation. You know, you go downstairs to the, the first floor and you go all the way to the end outside of the terminal on the right side. So I took all my bags. Fortunately, the gel lady was really nice. She helped me get a cart here. And then I threw the two bags on, rolled it out there, got to the Kidney Foundation. And then, then I saw the sign. It cost $140, not free. But anyway, it's about more about time and getting it done. So I asked them and they need it done. Sometimes they can get it done in an hour and a half because I told them, you know, 11, 30, 12 is my last time. So they went to check and they said, cannot today. I guess there's too many. So that's out. Even to pay wouldn't matter. So all I can do now is sit here and wait and pray that CVC Longs emails me before 12.15. It's now about 11. I got about an hour and 15 minutes to see if they email me before that or not. And if not, then I have to rebook my flight. And there is, I thought it was free to change, but it's only free if the airlines changes you. So there is an additional booking fee. And because Golden Week is coming next week, I thought it was going to be wide open because they'll bring Japanese next week and then they'll go back with empty. But the, the child lady said no. They're, they're quite full. So I'm kind of SOL, shut out of luck. And all I can do is wait here until 12.15 to see if CVC Longs sends me the email. And according to the jail lady, she said, yeah, CVC and Longs, not very good. That a lot of people have problems. They don't get the email, they don't get it in time. So I don't know if I'd recommend CVC, but the other option is then you, you know, find, find somewhere that's free or you're gonna to have to pay. And according to the Kidney Foundation lady, there's $140 there, or other places cost over 200, almost like Japan, what it costs. I thought it was so expensive, 22,000 yen. So I thought when I, when I came to Hawaii, everybody said, well, it's free, it's free, yay! It's free, but you don't get the result. So what's the point, right? So I'm just waiting and that's the story. And <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. I want to cry, but man, I'm just too tired to even cry. But I, I talked to so many people, the front, the, the chow check-in, the manager, the chow desk, the kidney foundation lady. I talked to everyone, S-O-L. So at 12.16, I'll go and have to rebook, and I'll still have to take another PCR test, whether it's free or paid. Just make sure I have the result and fly out after today if I don't get an email by 12.15 p.m. Honolulu, stand, Hawaii Standard Time. And I wouldn't suggest using CVC because they have to send it to the mainland and the child lady said they have problems. So go somewhere else that you know, is more sure. You know, if it was done locally, it would be great. Or maybe you know, paying is better to make sure that you get it, right? You wanna get what you pay for maybe, right? If it's free, but it's a, it's a chance that you might not get it, then what's the point, right? If you're gonna end up running all around and paying more money to rebook and then maybe paying for another uh, rapid PCR test, it doesn't make sense. So I just spent one hour trying to get another ticket, rebook my ticket. I thought it was gonna be free. I don't know why I thought that, because I thought I saw it on the Japan Airlines website, but it wasn't free. It was $167. So, no free lunch in life. I'm now flying out on Saturday. Now I could have gone tomorrow, but it only would have been $39 cheaper. And I said, shoot, you know, I didn't know if I was gonna get the PCR results by tomorrow too. I mean, who knows now, right? At the same time, I thought, shoot, if I'm gonna stay and go back to um, my sister's friend's condominium, sleep there and mess it up again, I'm gonna have to clean. For one night, it doesn't really seem worth it. You know, the cleaning took me about four or five hours. so. I might as well stay a couple of days anyway. And I will have to do the PCR test again, but I'm gonna go to a reputable place. The lady from JAL, she told me that Nomi, out in Waikere, Nomi Health, was uh, offering free testing for local residents, uh, but you'd have to drive out there, so I'm gonna check. So 
I'm going to have to go out and do a PCR test today, which is Wednesday, for Saturday, 72 hours. I cannot afford to have another mistake because it's expensive. It creates a lot of problem. I have to find a place to stay again, and I have to clean up the <laughs> condominium again. So that's where I am. And another problem that I probably will have is when I fly into Tokyo, I have two hours and 25 minutes to clear customs, clear the PCR testing, and then go from the international terminal to the domestic terminal and make my flight. And if I miss that flight, there's no more flights. It would have to be the next day. And JAL doesn't pay for a hotel or anything because it's not their fault, my responsibility. Then my other question was, if we have to quarantine for three days, what if I stay in the airport overnight or I stay in a hotel? Like, how does that work? Because you're clearing the PCR testing and that's where they're going to track you, I guess, with the GPS or whatever they have. And then let's say I don't make the flight, then I can't go home. You're supposed to go home in quarantine. So that's a whole other problem that's probably coming up for me in Tokyo. So I'm not excited about going back to Tokyo. So I guess the moral of the story with PCR testing was I should have, I think Hawaiian had a direct flight, but it was only like once a week and it wasn't on the day that I needed it to. At the same time, it was very expensive. I think it was almost double. But you know, there's more of the story. So I could have gone directly on Hawaiian to Kicks from Honolulu. It would have been way, way, way more easy and I wouldn't have all these complications. Because I'm going through Tokyo and I'm gonna clear customs and the PCR testing in Tokyo, it, it's, it's, it could, anything could happen. And my flight is, you know, like pretty close. At least I don't have to go from Narita to Haneda. Like the, when I was coming here, I had to go from Haneda to Narita on the limousine bus and that was like 3,000 yen. And I didn't even know, I thought there was a free shuttle bus. There was no free shuttle bus. I have a couple more days in Honolulu, but I gotta get that PCR test today just to be sure. Anyway, this is Mike signing off from Honolulu International Airport. Still here after all this time.